look at some two scenarios here. We, we talked about the, the strong stability. We've seen transport fares go down marginally. We are seeing fuel prices going down marginally. These are huge weights in the baskets. Are they going to impact on inflation numbers going forward? So I'll give you a simple calculation to think about. Bus and trotro fares has a weight of 5.5. Mm. It's the item with the highest weight in the basket for the computation. Mm. Mm? If prices of um, diesel, petrol have gone down by, let's say, 30%, 20%, hypothetically, yeah. and bus trotro fares go down by, let's say, 1%, as we rightly said, or even 2%, the next question is, if it gets to the items that we're going to put in the, in the buses, like the food items, mm. to what extent are they going to go down? Yeah. And would all of them go down? And this is what we're talking about, the multiple pass-through effect. So if it's a major item and it sees a marginal change, and it, it has another pass-through effect, that effect further diminishes. Mm. Is it making sense? Yeah. I mean, diesel has gone down yeah. much more than bus and truck traffic. Yeah. Bus and trotter fares is not a final um, commodity for us. You consume it, yeah. but on the other side, we get people cutting their goods based on that. So the next question is, how have we responded on the items that heavily um, rely on bus and trotter fares? Mm. So we need to think about the multiple pass-through effect before we can say that. In economics, we have something basic that we talk about. Prices are sticky downwards. Yeah. The way we react to price increases as human beings is different when we have to think about responding to prices that should go down. But, 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 but Prof, transport fares have gone down. So marginally. obviously, marginally. So it could impact on inflation going forward in maybe January or maybe February, right? Or no, no, it definitely, can, it definitely would impact, it would on, impact it, but, on it. But keep in mind, that's why I started a conversation with a jump of 9.9%. Mm. But it's going, to, it's going to maybe slow down a little bit. No, it, it's going to slow down, if anything, it's going to slow down the rate of increase. But it doesn't mean that we're going to see a drop from 50.3 to 45.9. Mm. Do you understand? So yeah. let's make that distinction. We can see a slow, a, a, a decreasing rate of um, growth yeah. in an inflation rate. So instead of seeing another 9.9, .9, we might see, let's say, five or two or three, mm. depending on the extent to which we've exhausted, as I indicated, all the pass-through mm. um, effects. And, and some c can say that also, the fact that fuel prices are still going down, can it also impact on other commodities as well, i.e. transport fares, and somebody making that intelligent guess that obviously if you don't even see any reduction, we'll see the rate of increase slowing down. George, we are all hopeful mm. for these reactions to happen. Mm. But let us not lose sight of the fact that there is an element of expectation, there is an element of rational behavior, which is really the case now, mm. as to how people are responding to these changes. Mm. If people don't respond fully to the extent of slowdown in these commodities that you are talking about, its full effect on inflation will not occur. Another development, Prof, and I know recent times, I've been following issues in Europe and in U.S. And, and all the rest, the global inflation as well is kind of slowing down. You talk about import inflation as well. All these dynamics, of course, could impact on the, the local calculation of these numbers. So let me correct something here. And I think it's partly because of how we've communicated this. When we disaggregate inflation into locally produced items and imported items, we are hesitant in giving it the tag imported inflation. Okay. It's simply inflation based on items that we import. But as you are trying to explain, if the global happening in terms of inflation is impacting us in different ways, and it can, it can impact us in different ways through um, exchange products, so there are diverse prices, ways. Correct. Commodities are dropping, FAO, mm. all the numbers mm. point to a decline. Let's be quick to say that it has differential e effects on different countries. Mm. Interesting. Globally, we can be seeing that, but countries are receiving the effect in different ways. 
So we cannot generalize that because global inflation is slowing down, we should see a slowdown in Ghana.